at this place in history. We're in Bolton taking a hike on the Long Trail with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Yeah, so I feel a little weird talking about the Long Trail and yeah. nature surrounded by highways. <laughs> but, you know, we've got this great historical marker behind us here. And I've made some arrangements to go talk to Mike DeBonis, who's the Executive Director of the Green Mountain Club, up at their headquarters in Waterbury. So let's head on up there and see what he has to say. So now we're at the headquarters of the Green Mountain Club, and we're standing in front of this map of Vermont and the Long Trail. And tell us a little bit more about what we're seeing here. Yeah, so the Long Trail is the oldest long distance hiking trail in the nation, and it spans the high peaks of the Green Mountains, uh, peaks and valleys from the Massachusetts border to the Canadian border. It started in 1910, and folks have been hiking and exploring this area for well over 100 years. So it was envisioned by this guy named James Taylor, not the musician James Taylor, but James P. Taylor, who was an educator in Vermont. His vision was to connect the people to the outdoors and make the mountains play a larger part in the life of the people. And really it was a way to promote the state of Vermont. He was a big promoter and he saw that New Hampshire had these trail networks and New York had these trail networks and he really thought that if Vermont did it too, it would be a way to bring folks into the state and uh, support the economy. So he came up with this vision, he has this map and he went around and he sold the idea and got people behind it. And over a few years, actually up until about 1930, it was built in pieces and finally got completed, which was, which was the, the success. So it's 273 miles long, and there's about a couple hundred miles of side trails that flow from the east and the west. There are shelters, there's about 60 overnight sites, and that's really the, the hallmark of the Long Trail. There's everything from rustic, three-sided structures to Taff Lodge, which is 99 years old today. It's the oldest shelter on the Long Trail. It's a four-sided shelter. Uh, that is up on the side of Mount Mansfield. So has the trail moved at all, or are you walking the footsteps of where the hikers in the 1930s did? It has moved quite a bit, especially in the south. When the trail first was started, the idea was just get it on the ground. So it followed roads, and it was a low elevation trail, it followed some, some fire trails and fire roads. And then over time, the club really wanted to, to achieve the mission of the organization and move the trail to the high peaks. There's still parts of the trail that are the same trail that was there well over 100 years ago. It, it always went over Mount Mansfield, it always went over Camel's Hump, and, uh, and you see some of those shelters and some of those campsites are, are the same ones that were there early, in the early days. How does the Green Mountain Club relate to the trail, both historically and today? So we're the maintainers and protectors of the Long Trail system. There's about 500 total miles in the system that we manage, and so we mobilize an amazing core of volunteers that go out and they do much of the maintenance of the trail. We have seasonal trail crews, we provide education and stewardship. Uh, we manage about 30,000 acres of land that hosts the trail. Every year we get out there and, and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> We're always looking for volunteers, so if you want to go carry some bark mulch up to a privy or clean out water bars, give me a call. <laughs> Hiking down memory lane. At this place in history.